Let's say you already have an application and you've decided to create a relatable AR experience. Do you need to create another one app? Not always. It depends on the situation. Sometimes you can go with the AR filters in Instagram or Snapchat. Another way you can use Web AR or you can create an AR module and integrate it into your existing app. Today we will share our experience on integrating Unity-based AR modules into existing app and how to make this process smooth. So what is module exactly? It is an independent piece of software that can be added to existing application. Consider it as an upgrade that can add new features or functionality. For example, you have this clothing app like Gucci or Gap, and you want to add this AR module to allow users try on different clothing or accessories through the camera. So if you want to have it all in one place, it makes sense to integrate this newly developed AR module into your existing application. But to make it work properly, you have to pay attention to a lot of details and nuances. Various programming languages are being used to create mobile applications. But when it comes to augmented reality, we recommend to go with the Unity engine, because it opens up a vast horizon of different features, customizations, VFX and 3D visualization. As for today, it is the most sophisticated engine to create AR and VR experiences. Plus, Unity is cross-platform. That means that you create one project that covers different platforms. On the other hand, AR module can be created with the native languages such as Swift, Java or others. It will be easier to integrate but with fewer features compared to Unity. So, if you want fast and rough solution, then go with native ones. Let's take a look at how integration happens in the example of Unity-based module. First, research the base of the app. What language is it written in? How compatible it is with Unity and augmented reality? And what operating system version does it run? It is important to distinguish the iOS and Android versions of the app because they can have different relationship with Unity. For example, for iOS, it is essential to know what Xcode version does it run. And then we move to the roadmap of the project. Take a look at the roadmap of the project. Now we have to insert a whole new module inside and we have to find a space for it. It is important to remember that AR module can be easily integrated today, but may conflict with the some future versions of the app. So, any future upgrades should be taken into account and checked in the roadmap. Check the app's architecture, analyze how it can scale and what are the possible conflicts between the libraries. It also applies to UX and UI, because this new AR feature should look smooth and natural without hurting the experience. Asynchrony is a vital part of successful module integration. So what the heck is it? Well, it means that AR module can run its processes on the background of the main app and vice versa, the main app can work on the background while you're using the AR module. And why is it so important? Thanks to asynchrony, you can switch between the main app and AR module without losing any session data or crashing the app. And now for the fun part, the backend of the module and how to deploy it. You can use the existing backend or you can create a new one specifically for AR. You can also go with the Firebase to collect and analyze data on the user behavior or you can also create an admin panel to host and manage the AR content. This may seem a lot, but the important thing here is that this whole process might be divided into simple steps. And remember, the integration process is an easy thing to do, and you have to stay focused and flexible. With integration comes more nuances to the development. For example, iOS and Android have different depth cameras and sensors. That means that some of the features cannot work on Android simply because its hardware isn't prepared for it. More content, more memory. So here is a simple reminder. Your module shouldn't have a size of a standalone app. As a solution, you can host your content somewhere in the cloud and upload it with the first launch. As for the homework, start with something simple. Integrate an empty Unity scene first, then some basic features, 
and see how it goes. And if you are not sure on integrating AR modules still, we are eager to help you.